hey, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So I've been testing this plate that Sawyer Lawrence sent me for a while. He sells surplus body armor, and a lot of people have been asking me to test 7 and 6 on it. Um, 7 and 6 has a great reputation for all sorts of things, especially it beats the crap out of steel targets, so maybe it can get through a polyethylene rifle plate. Three zero six six. Okay, I wasn't super surprised by that. I kind of suspected that the plate might be able to stop it, but I had my doubts because 7N6 does have some steel in its construction. Fairly decent sectional density, moving along pretty fast. I thought there was a chance it could get through, but it looks like it pretty conclusively stopped it. Now, does that mean that 7N6 is going to be stopped by every polyethylene plate? Not necessarily. Of course not. This is a sample size of one. We don't even know for sure that this plate will stop 7 and 6 every time. But it does seem to indicate that, given that it didn't even make it through the plate, let alone the backing soft armor. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. And if you'd like to know what sorts of surplus armor that Sawyer Lawrence has in stock, his email is in the doobly-doo. Make sure you send him an email and see what he's got. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. As always, thanks for watching. If you have some questions, and if you'd like to know what other kinds... Loud pipes save lives. Yeah, well, fucking helmets save lives, dude. Asphalt-colored clothes, asphalt-colored bike, no helmet, straight pipes.